This is Group T1D113 of APSC 171 presenting the Perseverance Mars rover. Here is the model in rotation. This is the main body. Here is a latch on the sample handle. These are the components of the sample handling. This is the animation of the sheet metal feature on the body. This is the rocker bogey suspension system of the Mars Perseverance rover. This is the exploded view of the suspension system. Here you can see that the suspension system can shift back and forth from the base and that the front and back wheels both rotate. Of course, all the wheels can spin to move the rover and the suspension system can rotate on its joints. This is a 360 view of the radar imager for Mars subsurface exploration, also known as the RIMFACS. This is the high gain antenna assembly of the Mars Perseverance rover. This is the rotational view and the explosion of the main components. This shows the explosion of the main antenna shell assembly. Here we have the rotational limits of the main mast, rotational limits of the arm, and how the antenna can pivot up and down. The antenna shell and arm are made out of sheet metal, and this shows the flattened features. This is the front hazard avoidance camera, also known as the HazCam. As you can see, the top part lifts up and has screws allowing for attachments. And this is the exploded view of the HazCam. It consists of four camera modules and provides assistance to the rover to avoid obstacles. This is the rear HazCam. It has a cover on the side to protect it from dust and debris. These cameras can also be used to map out its surroundings. And here is an exploded view of the rear HazCam. This is the power source of the Mars Perseverance rover. The power source, also known as a multi-mission radioisotope thermoelectric generator, converts heat from natural radioactive decay of plutonium into electricity. Such a power system can provide the rover with 14 years of operational lifetime. The rotating and extendable arms on the power source are used to mount the power source onto the body of the rover. Next, you will see all of the parts of the power source in the exploded view.
The Perseverance rover has a robotic arm with a length of 2.1 meters. The robotic arm has a, f uh, has a 5 degree freedom. This is made possible by using tiny motors called rotary actuators. These actuators gives it freedom of uh, uh, on the shoulder azimuth joint, shoulder elevation joint, elbow joint, wrist joint, and turret joint. The goal of the arm is to hold the drill bits and the necessary scientific equipment on the end of the uh, arm. This can be done by moving the arm as close as possible to the surface features on Mars. The main part of the ro uh, robotic arm is the arm bracket which holds the whole arm and the scientific equipment at the end of it, the actuators and the uh, arm itself. In the video you can see the robotic arm moving in the axis as well as in the video you can see the robotic arm in motion plus it's exploded and collapsed view.